Welcome to Embedded World 2024 in Nuremberg, Germany. And we're here together at the NXP booth where we're doing great things with our customers and with ecosystem partners to make the world brighter together as we launch our new tagline, Brighter Together, and we demonstrate all the great capabilities of NXP. And let's go into the booth and let's talk about first some of the autonomous capability that we're bringing to the world. We have a reference platform around autonomous capability that has a form factor of a robot. It contains sensing and compute capability in a development environment involving AI, involving sensing using LiDAR, camera, using GPS for positioning, and then mapping that with a network system that allows for productivity enhancements, for automation and machines to enhance safety, as well as just having fun by creating robotic capability. Now, as you just saw there, it did not have presence detection of an individual, but we're working on that. So let's come around and look at some of the other capability. Making the world brighter together, working on health and wellness, using biometric technology that goes beyond autonomous capability and goes to the human and measuring vital information on how to make the quality of life better using embedded compute, using low power technology for wearables that allows you to monitor, collect information that's vital to maintain a healthy capability for yourself, for your family, for your community. So let's talk a little bit in detail about what's embedded inside from an embedded control point of view. So let's go around, let's shift around our autonomous robot here, and let's talk about the latest in NXP embedded control. We have our MCX microcontrollers that are launching in many different families. We have our Fit for Purpose MCXA. It's optimized for a given application to create very efficient bill of materials with the latest embedded control. In the case of MCXA, where you have biometric capability in a very compact form factor, in this case, ECG, measuring my health, as well as oxygen content in my blood to use this biometric feedback to make my health, my capabilities, what you do to diagnose yourself, what you do to really drive improvement in your energy levels, your mind sharpness. You can do that by using our embedded control system to drive capability that you can use every day. And then you take that and if you need higher performance capability for embedded control, you go to the MCXN family that we have here. And in this particular case, on a microcontroller, we are driving motor control, we're driving display, we're driving a camera. We have inference and classification of face ID all on a single MCU in this reference platform that enables very efficient capability. And what's really exciting about 2024 is we are launching and rolling out our Freedom Board ecosystem. We have lines that are wrapping around the booth that are going through our competitions booth where they're all asking what's happening at NXP. And we are rolling out sub $10 Freedom Board development environments. We are rolling out competition in terms of developing our embedded compute platform and the reception on what we're doing is phenomenal. And you can put shields on here and you can make it modular and you can build capability on top of embedded compute around sensing and connectivity to really make a development platform very efficient for all our customers. With that, we're gonna go over towards the latest in our MCU technology which embedded connectivity to enable smart things objects that have embedded capability from NXP that are aware of their location. So let's go over to uh, talk to Sujata and find out more about our uh, channel sounding capability on MCXW.
So let's go over. So Sujata. Hey Ron. Good to see Good you. Good to see you too. We were just talking about MCX capability yes. with the A and the N and I'm excited to have you tell the uh, audience about MCXW. Yes, thank you. So good to see you. Good to see you as well. All right. Well, welcome to the MCXW demo. We are very excited to expand the MCX portfolio and bring wireless connectivity to it with having the same common architecture, peripherals, and a unified developer experience across the entire MCX portfolio. Our MCXW series was announced this week to extend the portfolio that we have with MCX and have that common architecture and developer experience now with wireless connectivity. As part of this series, the MCXW72 is enabled to support the new upcoming Bluetooth channel sounding feature. So I'd like to take you on a little demo of what this feature can enable. This device here is acting as a mobile phone and it has our MCXW72 embedded in it. And then over here, we've got another device with the MCXW72. This board is representing a thermostat. And then we've got a display to represent an AC unit. And this unit here is based on our iDynamics RT crossover processor. So now let me show you. Bluetooth channel sounding measures, does accurate distance measurement between two devices. So between the thermostat and this mobile device. And as I get further away from the unit, you see the screen go blank. So now as I go back in, the AC unit pops up. It recognizes that a person is in the room and the thermostat then tells the AC to turn on and set the temperature to be a cooler temperature for someone in the room. So this type of use case with Bluetooth channel sounding allows the accurate distance measurement to be able to address things like energy management in a building conference room environment. Well, thank you for visiting and seeing our MCXW demo for channel sounding. We're very excited about the opportunities these series of devices are going to enable in the market. And with that, I'm going to pass it back to you, Ron. Great. Thank you for yes. that. It's really exciting to see what you're doing with MCXW. And our embedded uh, compute capability is just fantastic. And now what I want to do is walk you over and talk about electrification. So thanks again. Let's head over. We'll start with bi-directional charging and then talk about electrification infrastructure. With NXP, we're working together both with the infrastructure industrial customers and the automotive customers to enable capability where you have electric vehicles and you have a battery, a source of energy, both where you need to charge it as well as you can use that charge in order to connect to your home or to contribute to a grid. And NXP's technology is enabling through connectivity and through the connection of your home, the car, and the grid to allow for charge to go in both directions, bi-directional charging. It allows you to charge your car in a normal use case, but then it can be a source of energy to power your home as a backup energy source, or it can also be a source to save money in terms of the use of electricity in your home in a sustainable way. And when you combine the charging capability that goes in the car as well as in the infrastructure, you have to come around and leverage NXP technology in order to enable the optimization of all the elements working together. You have infrastructure in terms of the grid that's supplying energy from the main uh, utilities. You have environments where you have different sources and use of energy in a microgrid, which can be your home that is now having multiple sources in ways to exchange energy. And you need to manage this together with your car battery, your generator, your home use, and optimize it very efficiently from a system point of view and an optimization control. NXP is enabling capability working with our industry partners and working with our technology to enable this capability so we can improve sustainability in the world, we can enhance your life in terms of the use of energy, save you money on your bills, as well as create a very easy to use environment. 
So now that we've talked about electrification, let's talk about IDATMX 95 series. So the next generation of our app's processors, IDATMX 9, is enabling rich cockpit experience. We're running both cluster and infotainment on hardware only, no hypervisor, hardware separation, assignment of resources that are isolated towards the function so you have safety, security, integrated into an app's processor, leveraging NXP's leadership in these areas. We are running with the AI capability with hardware accelerators to get unique experiences interfacing to cameras in a cockpit of a car, similar to the way we are using camera systems on the autonomous vehicle, but applying it to various use cases. And this enhancement around the automobile in terms of the in-cabin experience is complemented by what we're doing in terms of enabling development in the cloud as well as the future of a software-defined vehicle. So with that, I want to hand it over to Brian Carlson, who's going to give you some insights into the future of the software-defined vehicle. So, Brian? Hey, thanks, Ron. Appreciate Welcome. it. So we're excited to be here showcasing a follow-on to our major announcement a few weeks ago about the S32 Core Ride platform. NXP is leading the way for the revolution in automotive. We're moving from hardware-defined vehicles defined by boxes for every function to a world where it's software-defined, much like uh, devices today where I can upgrade and make those devices uh, improve over time. Let me show you very quickly what we're showcasing here. At this show, we actually introduced our new S32N55 uh, processor right here. We're showcasing this. This is the center of the whole vehicle, the brain of the vehicle. And what this is enabling our customers to do is to simplify their architectures, reduce, reduce their hardware, the complexity and the way their vehicles, 33, 40% type of numbers we're seeing. But to the consumer, what's really important, when your device is software uh, defined, I can now do some pretty amazing uh, things here. Uh, one of the examples we're showing is personalization. I want to personalize the car throughout the vehicle, and this is one example where there's something I could pack, uh, buy here, a po software package to personalize the vehicle, so I could purchase that. Now, when I, when I actually want to do something, a uh, different driver, I could use my key fob, it changes the whole profile of the vehicle, and we see all of these boxes here. And effectively, in the hardware world today, there's 50 to 100 boxes doing all these individual functions. S32N55 brings all those together inside of here. So you can see we're personalizing chassis, propulsion, the whole vehicle driving experience, HVAC, and body and energy. We're overseeing the whole vehicle. We're providing value to the consumer. We're reducing the bill of materials, cost, weight, complexity of the cars for our OEMs. And the Core Ride platform is all about making the development of SDVs simpler and streamlined. So we give them a path to do that with pre-integration software, and cloud support, which I wanted to show here on the second part. So we're showing here a preview of NXP Cloud Studio, and this allows SDV development to be a global effort for our customers. We support the whole development cycle. Let me show you that. So when you develop a software-defined vehicle, the shift is developing in the cloud. So this vehicle that I showed you, these new features, can be developed continually over the life of the vehicle. Right, so this is very important. So NXP has provided a platform, NXP Cloud Studio, that allows us to develop code, build it, test it, deploy it, and bring it all the way to the vehicle. And even to the point where we can see what's going on real time in the vehicle. So we can develop code in the cloud. You can have hundreds of thousands of developers working on the same chip in the cloud, deploy it to the vehicle, and actually monitor the vehicle real time. So this changes the whole game. For consumers, we'll be able to get new features, potentially on a weekly basis, new features, updates. Your STVs will become safer, more secure, more features, more efficient. They'll increase the range of EVs, for example. So a lot of tremendous values coming from STVs, and NXP is enabling that feature. SC2N55 today is one of those solutions that does that. Great, Thanks, Th Ron. thank you, Brian. Yeah. It's great, it's really exciting to hear about the future of the vehicles, how they're going to be personalized, and I want to take you to uh, show you a little bit more about the booth. We're changing the world in terms of electrification. We're changing the world in terms of how you can achieve quality of life using technology. And we're working together with partners in a very broad sense of enabling all aspects of our portfolio. And as we look over here, we have the partner wall. 
the partner wall that maintains many of our different partner ecosystems, building boards with fit for purpose functions. Let's go closer. We have apps processor base capability, integrated analog, we have connectivity, we have security, we have different ways of sensing such as ultra wideband that are be, being integrated into different form factors using camera systems, artificial intelligence, machine learning deployment on efficient computing in ways that are changing our lives. Our customers are now working together to make the world brighter together to enable capabilities that's truly meaningful in changing your life, changing the outcome of a business result to make those companies healthy and working together with semiconductor companies like NXP in order to establish their differentiation. It's an exciting time for NXP in the semiconductor industry. We have great energy here at Embedded World 2024. I'm looking forward to sharing with you more aspects of what we do in 2024 and rolling out our capability. It's only the beginning of some great times. NXP, brighter together.